welcoming you to my fourth tutorial of pascal programming language we learned the operators and operator precedents of pascal language in our last tutorial now we are one step away from coding last thing to learn before coding is the components of a simple pascal program that's what we are going to learn today and let's get into it now on screen i have written a simple pascal program which gets a number from the user and process it to say us whether the number is even or odd. Don't worry, you will be able to write this code and much more with Pascal when we start learning to code. First thing on a program is initializing a program with a user given name also known as identifier. Here I have given find even or odd as my identifier which is my program name. Secondly, we declare the variables and the constants we are going to use throughout our program. I haven't included any constants here, but if we have any constant, we have to declare it before the variable. Then we get into the main program. To start coding, we should write begin so that the computer knows we are giving some commands to it. And we should end our program with the end command with a full stop which tells the computer that we are done giving commands. We will be writing all our commands, statements and everything in between, begin and end. Now the main part of any program, input, process and the output. Here I am asking the user for a number and I am reading it as num1. Num1 is the input while displaying my requests on screen are outputs. Here I am asking the computer whether the number user gave can be divided with 2 without any reminder or not. If the answer is yes, which means it doesn't have any reminder, then the program will display your number is even, while if the answer is no, which means it does have a reminder, then the program will display your number is odd. And another main component is comments. Comments are which compiler doesn't compile whenever program is executed, which are used to make the source code easier for human to understand. Those are the main components of a simple Pascal program. I have displayed all of them on screen. All the pink colored words on screen are reserved words which cannot be used as identifiers. If you look at the code, you can see I have used semicolon at the end of almost all the sentences. Semicolon is used at the end of a statement to indicate the statement is ending. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you all understood the components of a simple Pascal program. If you have any questions, suggestions or any ideas to improve, feel free to drop them in comments box or mail me. Until I see you in my next video, happy coding!